Alright, so today we're going to be throwing on some coilovers on the R32. I'm going to be going over what brand I got, um, what kind of warranties they offer, and uh, what I think about them overall before I actually put them on the car. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so these are Fortune 500 series coilovers. Uh, it's just really basic coilover, uh, 24 levels of dampening, um, ride height and spring rate are separate adjustments. Um, it's real easy to put on, just two nuts up top, one bolt on the bottom. Uh, everything's nice and anodized and aluminum. They're all hand built. It takes about five, six weeks to get in. Uh, that's really the only downside is how long it takes to get these. Um, they are all offered with a five year warranty and uh, you are able to be, you can send them in to get rebuilt, I think every year if you want. It costs money of course, but it's way cheaper than um, buying a whole new set of coilovers. So I'm really excited how these feel. So let's get them on the car. Alright, so we got the wheels off and the car is jacked up. I just wanted to show you guys why you can't run camber plates on these cars. Is because as you see, your coilover is going to go right here and straight down. But what actually um, adjusts your camber is this arm here. I believe this is called a max strut. You can convert the whole front end to an S13, but you actually have to drill your holes. You actually end up moving your whole coilover almost over here. So it's a pretty um, expensive process for one, and uh, it's not really necessary. Uh, this is this is a good suspension setup if you set it up properly. So let's just get right into it. So to take the coilover off, it's just going to be this bolt at the bottom of the shock here, and it's just simply two nuts up here. Uh, yours would not have this because I have a little strut bar from Nismo, so I'm going to have to take that plate off. But other than that, it should be pretty straightforward. I don't think the sway bar is going to be in the way because I'll be able to pull this down. Now that the old strut is out, I'm actually going to do the, um, the exact same thing on the other side. Um, that way the whole suspension, all the sway bars actually have like no tension on them. That way when you put both front coilovers in at the same time, you actually don't have to like lift the hub or anything actually because it's just, everything's got, you know, no uh, tension on it. So I'm going to hurry up and throw and take the shock off the other side and then we'll come back to this side and set the coilover up. Now that I've got the old struts out, um, I'm going to match the coilover to the length of the stock strut. That way you don't actually have to force yourself to lift up the hub to get the coilover to slide on that, the, uh, the bottom mount basically. And that, that just allows us, you don't have to use a bunch of muscle, so let's do that. Alright, so as you can see, I got it pretty close. Obviously, this spring is not going to compress as much as the stock one. So, we're ready to throw the coilover in. So, let's just toss it in. It's going to be three bolts again, so it should be pretty easy.
All right, so I just got um, the front coilovers on. Pretty easy. A little finicky. I ended up having to use the jack anyways, even though I took both front coils. It's just the way the suspension settles. It still has tension on it. Pretty easy though, actually. So all the nuts came on. Nothing was too rusty. Actually, nothing's rusty. This is probably the cleanest car I've ever had. But um, I'm gonna jack the front down. We'll worry about um, adjusting ride height later down the road. So I'm gonna put the front down and we're gonna move on to the back. All right, so I've got the back jacked up now. The fronts are down. It's about stock height still, honestly, because remember I raised it as high as it would go. So that's as high as the coilover can go. It's basically stock. So now that we're gonna move on to the rears, I've already got the strut bar in the back off. Um, I wanted to see what brand it was because I didn't know. It seems to be a Nismo as well, which is awesome. So same thing on the bottom. Um, big bolt on the bottom and just two nuts on top. So let's get into it. Alright, so now that the stock springs in the back are out, we're going to do the same exact thing where we're going to um, try and match the length of the stock strut to the coilover, and that should just make it a lot easier so that we can go back and adjust with the collars after we got everything settled in and ready to go. Alright, so this coil is already set, so let's start it in the car. This is the little dampening um, screw, I would guess you'd say it, and they actually forgot to put the set screw back down, so when I went to uh, soften the suspension up, this actually just popped right off. That's no big deal. I'm just going to put it back on, obviously, and uh, tighten the set screw, and it should be good to go. But all the rest of them looked okay, so one little hiccup, that's no big deal. So, continuing. Alright, so I've got all the coilovers in now. Um, they're obviously all at different heights, I kind of just guessed and I uh, just made it so it's easy to install. Um, now I'm gonna lay the car down. Um, I'm gonna go back and uh, adjust coilovers. Um, I'm not really gonna show you how to adjust coilovers. You basically just loosen the body, bottom collar and then turn the whole strut assembly down into the bottom mount. Uh, pretty easy. Obviously, if you're watching this, I think we'd, you would know how to adjust coilovers because you either bought them or you're just watching this. So I'm gonna adjust the car, get it low, and then I'm just gonna show you guys. All right, so it's probably been about an hour since I started adjusting the coils. I got the whole car lowered now. Um, it's pretty, it's, it's, it's stupid low, honestly, right now for me. But I actually, uh, I test fitted my new rims, which will be in another episode, probably the next episode, probably. And uh, they're, the ride height I set it to was set for, the rim, for those rims, and they are obviously bigger. I'm not going to say it was 16s. Um, 
but I'm still happy with the ride height of the car right now. But uh, what they actually feel like is what's going to matter to me. I've heard um, really good things, so I have really high uh, standards for these coilovers because obviously they're not cheap. You know, when you're spending, you know, like thirteen hundred dollars on a set of coilovers, you want them to perform as good as possible. So I'll be excited to see how they perform. But here is the car as it sits currently. Um, pretty low, not like crazy low, but still a little bit uh, not as functional as it was, obviously. I'm going to be scraping on some stuff. It's actually thunder. It's going to rain, hopefully, so I might go around the block real quick before it rains. <laughs> but as you can see, it's not, it's not too low. It's nothing crazy. I am going to roll my fenders eventually because the new wheels I got have better offsets, so they're obviously going to be closer to the guards. Um, and I'll obviously do a video on that because I'm tired of seeing people do it with a baseball bat. Um, but yeah, uh, happy with the height here. Obviously, the side's exactly the same. But now I'm probably going to take it around the block and uh, see how it feels. Get some sound clips for you guys. And uh, I don't know. We'll just go with the flow. All right, so to uh, test out the coilovers, I'm going to head down to Taco Bell, get some food. I haven't ate yet today. So um, I'll go there, come back. And then that should give me a rough estimate about how I feel about the coil so far. Obviously, they're going to have to settle and they're going to, they will get either better or worse. I've seen coilers do both. So um, let's just get to it. Alright guys, so I just got back from lunch, um, R32 is feeling really good, not really hearing any weird sounds or noises, so that's always good. Um, overall, like super happy on full stock, they kind of feel almost stock, it's, it's actually really nice. So I, obviously as I stiffen them up, they'll get harder, but obviously more track inspired. So overall I'm just super happy with it, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, I'm probably just going to end it here, because that's, that's coil levers, I, I have other videos, I got other parts sitting, right there I got um, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just tell you I got of course I got wheels right in front of me I'm about to throw on um, I also have camber arms for the rear so I get rid of all the camber so I can zero it out so I don't have to waste tires at the track um, I do have tie rods at front coming and I have rack spacers to get a little bit more angle uh, that's all I have planned right now probably gonna do radiator and stuff like that but I'm gonna keep it really simple and reliable so that's always fun so anyways thanks for watching guys I really appreciate it